Okay, so we just watched the video. Um, what are what are your uh, what are your initial impressions? Well, it looked like a everything was a it looked like everything was thought out. It looked like a good proof to me. Looks like yeah. a good proof to you. Okay. So let me ask you: Do you believe this? That one plus two plus three add to infinity equals minus one twelve. Doesn't seem like it, but I do because they proved it. Okay. All right. What do you think? Yeah, I believe it. You believe it. Okay. What do you think of the video? Well, I thought it was. I think it, I think the proof is valid. You think the proof is valid? Okay. And he showed us. He showed there was a. He said a reputable physics textbook that had this sum in it. Okay. Oh right, right. So he did actually show that it wasn't just they weren't just making this up. Um, and I actually went to a talk at MIT on uh, Thursday, where one of the professors there was talking about the sum equaling minus the twelve. Um, does anything seem strange to you about this? Well, a bunch of positive numbers added together should equal a negative number. All right, that's certainly one puzzle, and right? It's the laws of addition. A bunch of positive numbers added together really shouldn't be negative. Okay. Well, uh, he said that you have to you have to go to infinity because if you stop at any point, you're just going to get a number, a, po really a positive really integer, really a really big number. positive integer, but. You will not get minus one twelve. You can certainly not get minus one twelve. Uh, that's right. Okay. Anything else seem strange to you, or any any like place where he was kind of doing stuff where you were like, hmm, I'm not sure. Like he might be cheating a little bit. Well, when he see, when he did the one minus one plus one minus one, it didn't. I mean, it doesn't really like you're only adding and subtracting whole numbers and you get a fraction. So Yeah, you, yeah. That seems like a problem too. Yeah. Well we started he started by kind of hand wavingly proving this. Okay. And then built he built his whole proof basically on this. On this one. Okay. Alright. So seems pretty valid. Alright, so let's go th let's go through the we'll we'll repeat the proof, but um, before we do that I wanna ask you what is, like, on a scale of 0 to 100, what's your confidence in this, that 1 plus a half plus a fourth plus an eighth dot 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 equals 2? I think in the high 90s. High 90s, yeah. okay. What's your confidence in this one? Um, 75. Okay, how about, how about this one? It's around 75, too. Okay, all right, how about you? What's your confidence in this result, 0 well, to 100? I'm confident, I'm completely confident in this equals 2. Okay, so your confidence is? 100. All right, what about this one? 100 about and this one? 100. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So you really you really believe what you see in internet videos? Yes. You do. And okay. physics textbooks. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's uh, repeat the proof. 